We are hosting a series of videos highlighting our employees that have had interesting and or progressive career paths within the city of Boynton Beach. Today we are featuring Winia Bryant from the Utilities Department. Welcome Winia. Can you please tell us how and why you first became interested in working for a municipality or government agency? Well, right out of high school, I joined the military. I was in the Army for four years, and when I came, got out, my then uh, boyfriend, now husband, was from Boynton Beach, so I came here with him. And I, since I was already in government, I wanted to continue my career in, in, the, in the municipality. So how long have you worked for the city of Boynton Beach? I've been here almost 23 years. Wow. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what did you start with? What was your first position when you started working for the city? The first position that um, I took was in communication as a 911 dispatcher. Um, but I quickly learned that that is a high stress job mm -hmm. and I had a problem with panicking with the people calling in. <laughs> Understandable. So, I mean, I really have a lot of respect for, for them who do that, that job. It, it really takes a special person to be able to to deal with those phone calls. Um, but I realized it wasn't for me, um, and there was a position in the utility as meter reader. Um, so I applied and I got the job, and it was like three or four months after I started with the city that I moved over to utilities. Okay, so then when once you were in utilities, what was your path through utilities from meter reader to where you are now? Sure, so I uh, served as a meter reader um, for about a year and then my boss at the time uh, had a back injury um, and I was, they asked for volunteers to step up and fill in and I volunteered and learned a lot about billing and how we bill and because the meter reading division and that's the start of the revenue for the utility and um, so I learned all that and progressively moved up to the assistant supervisor and then eventually the supervisor in that area. So you're currently the supervisor? Or, no, no, currently, okay. from there, um, I know there was some changes over the years. There was combinations with water distribution and other areas. Uh, but currently, I serve as the manager of administration. Okay, so what, would, what does your typical day look like in your current role? Well, currently, uh, besides manager of administration, I also do asset management and technology. Um, so in the day's time, I'm doing anything from budget activities um, to technology to asset management. Um, I actually was just recently promoted to manager of administration. Prior to that, I was asset manager. Um, and this just happened October 1st. So oh, well, congratulations. Still getting... You're still getting your feet wet in your new role. Correct. Okay. Correct. That sounds great. But you know, the utility has thousands and thousands of assets from the fire hydrants in the field to every valve to all the pipelines to all the equipment in our three plants, East Plant, West Plant, and the DES. Um, to every one of our lift stations out in the field. I mean, there's a lot of assets to track and keep track of and um, work on maintenance activities and replacement that all tie into our CIP budget and, and our operation budget. Um, so it's a big role to fill and it's an important job, um, but it's something I've thoroughly enjoyed doing. Right, and not to forget the big water tower right behind you. <laughs> you're, you're right, that too, yes. So when you're burning the midnight oil, you get to see it light up different colors. Yes, that was a nice feature that they brought in <laughs> right. a few years back. So. <laughs> so what would you say is your favorite part of working for the city? My favorite part is working with everyone. The staff here is awesome and amazing. Um, working with all the different teams and, and seeing everything that they do. Um, I don't get to work much with customers like I used to when I was in meter services, but when I was there I enjoyed working with all the customers. I just really like people and helping people and, and working with everyone. So. so what advice would you give to someone who might be considering employment with a government agency such as the city? I would say go for it. I mean that's the biggest thing is uh, make the decision and, and don't hesitate jump in and if it doesn't work out it wasn't meant to be and try again next time um, and eventually um, I mean it's a great place to work 
uh, I would advise anyone to get into government. And just like how you started in one area of government and you felt like it wasn't the best fit for you, then you found another opportunity and look where you are today. Yes. So that's really terrific and we really appreciate you talking to us and thank you so much and congratulations on your new role. Thank you.